Right, this is not a great photograph. I think I photographed this with the with my tablet, and probably the the lens was just slightly misty. Uh, but someone liked this. I did it back oh a couple of weeks after I started doing these videos on YouTube. Uh, Norfolk Farm. You can still watch it. It's a Norfolk Farm. Uh, I think it was March or February, February 2013. Someone's just really uh, commented on it. They really like it. So I thought, well, why not have another go? It's got, it's got a farm building. I'm going to do the farm building a bit bigger or the tree a little bit smaller. I'll draw it out first, just just roughly, because I won't copy it. It'll be it'll be different. But uh, we'll see how we go. The sky is quite my sort of sky, but I'll change that a bit. Okay, so let's come back to the my paper. Fabriano, 130 pounds. Just just come out a little bit, and uh, it's 15 by 11 inches. That's my palette: uh, cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, and burnt sienna. I'll probably not use the burnt sienna on this one. I'll. Uh, I'll use the some more burnt umber and a bit of light red. So the first thing to oh well I'll just roughly just draw it and draw it up. Oh, I should use this pencil, this have a bit of a low horizon, big sky. And then let's uh, just a, a larger building. It's just just farm. Something like that. We can put a, put the barn a barn door there. Lower roof at the back. So some, something like that. The chimney there. Okay, I'm going to paint around that. Uh, my trees. Well, they're going to come up here somewhere. There's going to be some bit, bit of background and. A couple of oak trees. Okay, that that'll do. So, give it a bit of a wet. Oh, I was going to let it go around, didn't I? Okay, that, that'll do. Right, a bit of burnt sienna, uh, raw sienna, sorry. Just a little bit of a gentle, a oh, bit, bit of alizarin as we come down. And a bit of a sky, uh, which I like, which would be a bit of blue. Remember, what you put on dries a lot lighter. A bit of water in the foreground. A bit of light red, so we have a bit of cloud. Spring type trees. And a bit of a darker cloud, slightly darker just. Right, that'll do. I'm going to give that a bit of a dry and then I might do a bit of foreground. Just I just want to leave that 
dry. I did. I meant to leave it dry at the beginning, and I forgot. Just get that there. I don't want that to blend too much. Let's turn it off here. Right, okay, I'll just leave it. Okay, let's put in some foreground now. Burnt umber, bit of red. Right here. There's a bit of, bit of lemon yellow in there as well. We don't want to make everything burnt umbery. So some greens. Now that's just the cadmium. Well, there's a bit of burnt umber on there, but but with the uh, cadmium yellow and a bit of Payne's grey. So we we'll just put a little puddle in there. Bit of a bank. Right, we'll let that go now. We'll let that dry off. Uh, I'm going to dry dry it now. This is on the back of another demonstration which I don't really like. Right, ready? Headphones off. <laughs> a little bit then just a uh, oh I've got to put a parcel in there if I should confuse her again I've got the, the uh, keypad covered up just had a very frustrating over this last couple of days a couple of hours here and there my daughter got me a, a, a Belkin Wi-Fi extender, because my Wi-Fi is, is not brilliant, and I don't pay for an awful lot, but but um, it's, it's playing up at the moment. But there wasn't the reason why it didn't work. I, I've the the uh, the television that I'm currently watching is about thirty feet away from the router, and the Now TV box, which I advertise on television, it's a uh, I don't subscribe to anything on it, I just use it for iPlayers and YouTube. I couldn't get without, well, from a Wi-Fi signal, uh, using the Belkin. I, it was okay on Ethernet cable, plugged into extenders, but the Wi-Fi didn't work. But it, we found out it was because my, my main browser is Chrome. So a bit of a bluey, bluey, background, bluey greeny, just for a bit of, bit of tree, more blue than anything else. So let's just put these, these in. A bit more green, spring greens. Coming over the top, leave plenty of. of uh, sparkle. A bit burnt under now, let's just try a little bit of. a bit different, and a bit blue. Got a blue green, dark blue greens around my house. And a 
put in a bit of darker green, bluey, bit of red in there as well. Right? So let's just get that in there. Just counter changing against the, the roof that I'm going to put in. But I want dark here, the paint's grey. I use, use a bit of paint's grey and a bit of, bit of umber. green here. Try to use the height for as long as possible. Okay now we'll put in some foliage like ivy type of stuff. A bit of red mixed in with the green. Let's just get that in here. Don't worry about working from your previous paintings, they, they all end up different. Get some ready colours in there. some uneven ground here. Right now we want a bit of texture in the foreground here. Let's see. The red. Okay, there's just sort of a ploughed feel going off into distance there. And we're putting some oh. trying to keep away from that burnt burnt sienna, I just keep going to it and I don't mean to even to remind myself. Okay, so so that that's uh, our okay. Uh, now we'll do the trees. Oh, I'm I'm going to use the hake, but I want to dry off the bushes I put in. Okay, so uh, using the hake, uh, burnt umber, Payne's grey. So we'll uh, Right, let's put in some ivy. Right, let's go back to. I might do some some rigor work on that. 
but I'll put another smaller one here that in the original. Okay, let's use a rigger now. I'll use a small rigger. Blue and paints grey. Oh, the blue and uh, burnt umber. Gives a nice warm dark. I, I'm going to put my usual shape of the canopy on this. I'm not going to over elaborate. I'll put some some ivy on that. I like ivy. Right now we'll put um, some green, light green, bit of blue. Right, these are the. This is the new new growth on the uh, on my version of oak trees. I'm going to put some blue behind there to show something going on behind. Now, no single leaves. This is just an impression. Okay, now bit, bit blue, bit of alizarin. Okay, so I'll come back screen. I'm not really copying, I, it's totally different, but I, I, I like to keep my foot on the ground, feet on the ground. Right, okay, so I'm going to put in a bluey green haze so we can. Okay, that'll do. When that dry is dry, I can put in some right now. I'll get an inch. No, I'll use a half inch brush. I think let's have a bit. bit Bit of red, bit of paint grey, uh, I'm going to leave a slight margin. Oh, 
looks sort of slightly bluer version of that roof. Okay, now let's uh, put in a slightly very faint burnt umber and bit of bit of grey. Right, now I'll leave that to dry a little bit. We'll put that a bit darker there. Well, just give that a dry, and then I can just detail around the eaves. Okay, uh, I'll use a rigger now. Okay, that do. that's quite quite a nice bit of light on there. Uh, what's that look like? Uh, right, we need a bit of a bit of this coming up here into the canopy. That's not really strong enough. I might go over that a little bit. Putting a couple, couple of chunks down here. Well, I'm just, I'm just going to thicken up that. But that's not very good. So just me blue. Good paint's grey, I think. And a bit. That'll do it. I can't do much more than that. Might be a little bit muddy, but... Okay, that that look like birds here. Yeah. Small birds. Oh, small birds, he says there's something stuck on the end of my brush. Oh, crow colours.
Oh, I'll give that a second shot, put it in the mouth and we'll have a, have a look. Probably not as transparent as the, the original one, but as I say, they all end up differently. Okay, uh, mount. Okay, well that's not too bad. Right, let's uh, if I lift it up and drop the camera down, we'll get a better better look at it. Oh, sorry about the winding winding down, turn that round, up to there. So there we are, I've got another Norfolk scene. I won't zoom in on it, better that you see the overall impression. So that's based on a previous, uh, of a photograph of a previous, or a very early Usher on YouTube. I've, I've started this thousands of years ago. Uh, that is probably just, a little, I, think, I think I've gone a bit too heavy with the greens, but uh, it's a painting, it's a demonstration. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.